An air taxi has successfully made its test flight in the southern coastal county of Kohung in Jeolla Namdo province, which was open to the public for the very first time. This is paving the way for more tests to come in urban skies starting next year as part of Korea's urban air mobility project using domestic technology. Our business correspondent Shin ha Young was there. This air taxi takes up vertically from its vertiport and flies for about five minutes without carrying a person. Developed by the Korea Aerospace Research Institute and domestic firms, the KUAMO POP can carry one person and fly at a speed of up to 240 kilometers per hour, generating less noise compared to a helicopter. It was the first public demonstration of the aircraft following a test run with a smaller size model two years ago. The demonstration was in line with the first stage of the Korean UAM demonstration project, known as the KUAM Grand Challenge, which kicked off in August to test the safety of urban air mobility aircraft as well as related infrastructure ahead of commercialization. Along with the flight demonstration in Kohung, Jeollanamdo province, a vertiport, passenger terminal, traffic management system, and AI based control tower were all unveiled, showcasing their safety and integrated operational capabilities. The government will refine regulations tailored for UAM to create an environment where firms and researchers can develop technology without a hitch. I hope we can work together towards opening the urban sky by 2025. In October, the Transport Ministry announced that the UAM Act had been given the green light at a plenary session of the National Assembly. This enactment lays down the groundwork for companies to actively develop technology and test out new services without being shackled down by the existing aviation laws. Aviation regulations are extensive and strict, but electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft don't require the same level of standards. So, for UAM, we've excluded unnecessary existing rules, except those related to safety, although even some of those could be relaxed. He added that the government plans to expand the use of UAM from transportation services to logistics, emergency care and firefighting services. Companies that have demonstrated the safety of their technologies in the first stage of the KUM Grand Challenge will move on to the second stage, which will take place in metropolitan area from next July for about a year. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News, Kuhung.